Hey guys, this your girl Precious back with another video. If you're new to my channel, in the words of Wendy Williams, how you doing? And if you are oldie but goodie, you still sticking with me from day one, what's up? So I am getting ready to head out. Interesting, I got my keys. Um, I am about to either go get my nails done. I've been thinking about getting my nails done a lot lately. So I'm thinking about getting my nails done and I'm definitely going to get my eyebrows uh, waxed because, ooh cha, it looked bad. So anywho, if you want, you can come along. If not, you can go check out some of my old videos. <laughs> so anyways, let me put on some shoes and let's get out of this house. Hey guys, so I got a small clip of me getting my eyebrows done. I might insert it somewhere in here, but um, I feel like I got hair on my mouth. So yeah, what you guys think? They look so much better. She was quick. It was pretty fast. I did not get my nails done because I guess they're, they're basically full. It's like three texts in there, and it's three people that's getting their nails and toes done. So she just slid me in real quick. She slid me in real quick, did my eyebrows, and um, now I'm about to either head to HEB or Sam's Club. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like really going inside Sam's Club, big warehouse. Mm. But I love their fruit. And I need some of that, you know, big detergent, the gang that's in the box, the powder kind. Um, so, yeah. And then HEB, I don't feel like going in there because they always crowded too. But I need to pick up a couple of items. Um, trying to figure out what we're going to cook tonight. I think I'm going to make some chicken alfredo. I might need to buy some shrimp so I can a little shrimp in that with the chicken that will be really really good but I need some new recipes so guys if y'all got some real good recipes hit your girl up leave the, the recipes in the comments below please because <laughs> I be struggling with um, coming up with meals and then my family they don't help they don't they're not like hey mom I want to eat such and such or if even if I ask them like hey guys what y'all want to eat this week? I get no answer. It's like I have to figure this thing out all by myself. So I try to get ideas from YouTube, of course. And um, wherever I possibly can, guys. But I need y'all help. So help me. Help your girl a lot. So yeah. Let me, um, let me start back driving and get to my next destination. And I'll be back. So guys, let me tell y'all um, something that happened at work was real odd to me. Um, but y'all just let me know in the comments below how y'all feel about it. So I work with um, a lot of African uh, men and women. Um, and one day, um, this African woman um, who works up under me, she said to me in passing, as we were greeting each other, she say, oh, precious, your hair is so pretty. Now, this is when I had the two braids. Yeah, I remember I just had two braids. I took those out and got these. But um, it was when I had the two braids. And she said, oh, precious, your hair is so pretty. And I said, oh, thank you. She said, you look like an African queen. And so I turned to her and said, I am. And so, after we passed each other, she got further down the hall and she said, well, more like an American queen. And I was like, hmm. So I turned around to her and I said, so you know my family, I'm sorry, I said, you know my people from Africa, right? And so, I walked off kind of chuckling and she did too. She was walking in the opposite direction. But I thought it was so weird that 
she would say that or an African woman would say that as if you know my ancestors didn't come from over there as if you know she's not aware that's where they come from I would, so I was telling some of the other um, um, my other co-workers who are like I said who are African and the first thing they said was do she not know her history and I'm like I don't know I don't know what that was about, but I just thought that was so weird for her to say that I was not an African queen. <laughs> just my hairstyle was. So either, oh my goodness, they ran the red light. So anyways, I didn't know how to feel. I didn't know to feel offended or just, you know, brush it off. I mean, I didn't bring the subject or whatever back up to her. I mean... It just, it might be ignorance. I don't know. But for anybody that's out here that's watching me and, you know, you're African and you feel like us black American women um, aren't African um, descendant, go back and read your history books. Matter of fact, let me give you a quick lesson. We all are from Africa. It was just some of our people, my people and your people, we got separated. It wasn't because we wanted to. It was because we were forced to. And so I'm saying that to say this. We all are black in the white people's eyes. In anybody else's eyes, we're all black. We just come from different places. So I do a lot of times have people that um, come up to me um, and they will ask me what they normally are from Africa. But they ask me, they're like, are you from Nigeria? And I'm like, no. They say, where are you from? Like Florida. Like, that's all I know. So anyways. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a car in front of me. I hope you don't get hit. Look how close he is to me. Exactly. I was about to hit him, but it was another car that was next to me. It looked like he was going to hit him. But anyways, let me get to this H-E-B. I just wanted to tell y'all. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about that, that situation. I'll be back. Morning, guys it's the next day sorry I didn't pick my camera back up uh, yesterday but um, it is I think almost nine o'clock um, Wednesday I'm sorry Thursday morning I am getting ready to take baby girl 
to daycare, but we're going to stop by McDonald's first and grab her a hash brown and take her to daycare. And then I noticed that it's a few things that she needs, like some undergarments. And plus, her teacher says that her blanket that she takes takes to school is too short. It, does, it doesn't cover her all the way up. So, I'm going to pick that up, too. So, I think I'm either go by, like, Ross, Marshalls, a place like that. Maybe even Dee Dee's, just to see what they have. But, um... Yeah, that's what I have planned. Um, I also need to go and get, um, what you call it, a light bulb for my tail light because it has been out maybe like three months. I haven't got pulled or anything um, for it yet, and I pray that I don't. But I, um, I need to go pick that up and then... I may not get it um, put in today, but it would definitely be uh, very soon. Maybe by Saturday it should be in. So anyways, go about time. They finally fixing this hole in the road. Look at this, y'all. So people damage their car and scrape up the, um, the front of their car all the time because it's a big old hole. Mm -mm, sorry. It's a big old hole in the road. Well, before it was a, a hole, it was like this huge dip. It's like a ditch. And so people going at five, you know, fast speeds, 40, 50 miles per hour, and then they fall into this ditch and come back up and the car bouncing and stuff trying to level back out but yeah so they finally fixing that thank god it took them long enough Whew. one thing about houston y'all these roads out here i've never seen nothing like it when i say never i mean they are horrible um like y'all already know i'm from florida i'm not used to this the only time you see a bad road is when you mess around to go to the hood like the gutter of the hood and you know those people don't speak up to the city and tell them hey y'all need to come fix this road so yeah I, like i said i'm gonna do a video about houston guys my likes and dislikes and just tell you a little bit about it ever since i've been here um august made two years that we've been here and we like it and we actually love it um, but it's a lot here that we don't like either. And I don't think it's Houston. I think it might just be Texas. <laughs> the parts that we really don't like. But, um, yeah. Be looking for that, um, that video to come out soon. So, um, let me get here to this McDonald's. And, guys, I'll be back. Roses, 104.1 KRBE. Alright, parental discretion is advised if you missed part one of Ruler Nine Dresses. Here's what we know so far. Welcome to McDonald's. Will you be using your mobile app today? You done? Alright. Step out. That one's really, really light. I just smelled it. This one smells good. I'm just sitting here smelling some of the perfumes. Um, which one did I really like? Let me see this one. I actually sprayed it on me. Hmm, I can't find it. Okay. Oh, here it is. Fourteen ninety nine. It's called candies. Oh. 
Um, I think I'm going to start shopping for Christmas soon. Let me get focused what I came in here for. Let's go to the kids section. I'm looking for undergarments. I'm inside Marshalls right now. They always have nice stuff. Ooh, that perfume smells good. I sprayed some on me. I can still smell it. I don't see what I'm looking for. Thing here is a little scarce. I don't see the undershirts that I'm looking for, so I'm gonna have to go over to Diddy's. All right, let me go ahead and buy these underwear and get out of here. So I found these socks for $4.99. I'm gonna grab them. So I got the shirt, I'm sorry, I got the socks, and I found some underwear. So I'm gonna go across the street, like literally cross the street to Dee Dee's and see if they have a blanket and a, like some undershirts, because they didn't have that stuff here. They look like they was in there restocking, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna head on back home, because I do have to go to work today. So I like to relax before I go to work. Um, and I know I got some clothes in my room I need to fold. So, I'm going to do that. And, um, yeah. All right. So, meet me at Dee Dee's. <laughs> now, this don't make no sense. This is my second time coming over here to Dee Dee's. I stopped by Dee Dee's before I even went inside Marshall's. They were not open. I looked at the time. It says it opens at 10 a.m. Left Marshalls, back here at Dee Dee's, it is 10, 12, and they are not open. As you can see, these cars are lined up, but they are leaving because the door is not even open or unlocked. Like, this, is, this don't make no sense. So maybe I'm not going to Dee Dee's today, but there is a Dollar Tree next door. So let me stop in there. My husband told me he wants some more of that Dove lotion that I normally buy him and keep in the, and he keeps it in his car. So I'm going to pick him up there. And my husband is the type of guy that don't even wear lotion. He don't care for wearing lotion too much. He don't like the texture. So, so I'm going to go inside this Dollar Tree and get him the Dove lotion like he asked for. And I'm gonna get us some more hand soap because my daughter, for whatever reason, the the youngest one, the three year old, the one I just dropped off, she she goes in our bathrooms. Did all we have three bathrooms, and not just her, but my seven year old sometimes do it too. They we have the pump um, soap dispensers. But anyway, when they washing them little behind hands, they pump it at least five times. So I run out of soap quickly, and then not only that. If uh, my daughter, the three-year-old, see that we are low, maybe about this low with soap, and I have like, um, sometimes I have like the refillable, like the big jug, and you go and refill your um, the little small ones, she will put water in it. She will dilute the, the soap that's already in there. So that keeps happening. I don't know. We've been using uh, bar soap in my bathroom lately, but... I just don't know <laughs> what else to do. I'm like, I'm not constantly there with them because, you know, I work in the evening. But then not only that, they go to the bathrooms and stuff by themselves. Now, if I'm there and I overhear um, them just running water in the bathroom, then I'll go check and see what they're doing. But, yeah, so now I got to go ahead and get some soap. Hopefully, hopefully she'll grow out of this. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be back.